everybody, this is Converse King back with another shoe review. And today's shoe is pretty special because it comes in a box that's really cool. And it's actually the same artwork that's on the t-shirt I'm wearing today. Uh, that's just a coincidence. I didn't know I was going to be making a video today. But, uh, well, let's get into it. Obviously, the box is really, really cool. It's an Iron Maiden Vans box. Um, it's a little crushed, but... Uh, I didn't want to get rid of it because uh, I really like Iron Maiden a lot. They're one of my favorite bands. Uh, they're number one in my book uh, for heavy metal bands, followed closely by uh, Sonata Artica. But that's a different video. Uh, this is about shoes. Obviously, yeah, really cool box, Egyptian art. Uh, this is... I don't want to give you the wrong information, but I think the art is from... Uh, the Somewhere Back in Time tour. Um, I wasn't there, obviously, because I wasn't old enough to be there. But I have this shirt because they reproduced the shirts. Um, and I have a lot of Iron Maiden shirts. So the fact that I'm wearing this one today really is a coincidence. Um, so enough uh, babbling. Let's get into the shoe. You have your standard uh, Vans skate high um, shoe with its suede. It's not very um, expensive suede. It's like the cheapest suede you can get, but it's still nice. And obviously you have the Iron Maiden artwork again. Um, it looks really good on the shoe. When you have a high top like this with a lot of flat area, surface area, you can really have a lot of good art on the side. Which is why not only has Vans done um, Iron Maiden shoes, but they've done shoes for Kiss, they've done shoes for Queen, um, and other bands. But these are the ones that I needed to have and they're really kind of rare now. I'm not sure how many they made initially. I didn't look into that at all. But I was looking for these for a couple of years, actually. Um, I had to get an eBay account to be able to uh, buy these. Uh, I had to buy these from a guy in California who never wore them, which is awesome. Uh, but apparently he did let the box get crushed a little bit. Which doesn't really matter. It doesn't hurt the shoe or anything because it's it's a pretty um, basic shoe to begin with. But yeah, it's got the Iron Maiden artwork. It says Iron Maiden along the side, which is really cool. And, um, you know, other materials. It's lined with uh, leather. Is that the most high quality leather? No, but it's better than some. It's better than what Nike would use. Um, it says Iron Maiden on the back. Let's see that. It's, it's really a cool, well thought out, simple shoe. And I really like it a lot. I had also a pair of um, Iron Maiden Vans uh, slip-ons. But the thing was, after the first wear, I wore them on a really hot day. So I think the lining separated from the uh, artwork on the toe because on that shoe the artwork is on the toe but uh, the lining started to rip so it would it interfered a lot with my foot comfort so unfortunately I had to um, junk those pretty soon after I bought them which kinda made me mad because uh, these Iron Maiden shoes all of them the skate highs and the slip-ons they're not easy to find and these like I said I was looking for for a very long time and I was very fortunate to find a pair that wasn't used usually if you're looking for this shoe on eBay and you find it someone wore it and I wouldn't recommend uh, wearing someone else's shoes to anyone unless uh, you know you're so poor that you can't afford your own pair in which case I guess you have no choice but um, to anyone who would be looking for this shoe, you're not going to find it anywhere but eBay, and you have to have uh, a good amount of luck to find it. So uh, 
you know, envy me because I was able to get this awesome shoe, uh, you know, which too, not too many examples uh, in unused condition probably exist at the moment. Uh, you know, Iron Maiden has fans all over the world. There's a lot of um, merchandise. And this is one of the best merchandising um, ventures they ever got into. And I'm very pleased with the shoe. Um, you know, it kind of feels like a Chuck Taylor, but it's a little more comfortable because it has like 40 years uh, of it, advancement in technology on its side because I think this was originally made in the late 70s or early 80s. So it's a comfy shoe. The sole is very thick like on many and most Vans shoes and uh, they're built to last. So you know you can skate in them a long time and still you know have a, a very wearable shoe to walk around in and uh, at the end of the day that's the most important thing with skate shoes is that they're durable and they can withstand the test of time uh, that's all for this review I'll see you next time thank you so much for watching peace Thank you.